Hey, what is up, everybody? You ever been looking at the Wii and just said, ugh, needs more sex appeal? I got you covered. The Zone 60. Back in 2006, Nintendo thought, huh, we like money, let's make a stupid amount of it. And they invented the Wii. Other companies seeing this thought, I want in on that, and they invented garbage for the Wii. Everybody's making these garbage add-ons for the Wii or just trying motion controls on their own. But there was a few brave souls who thought, eh, let's just rip this off. Enter Jungle Tack. Now consoles like these are designed to prey upon your unknowing grandma who goes out looking for that Nintendo you asked for and sees this and goes, well this is games built in, this is perfect for my little Jimmy. But all she's really buying you is a box of disappointment. So let's dive in and take a look at this thing. As you can see here, I have the Metallic Edition. It comes with two controllers, real-time action, and wireless. Now, I have no clue what real-time action is, and as for the wireless, it just means the controllers. They have an IR sensor, so if anything gets between the controller and the console, it stops working. I don't know why they decided to feature this on the box. It's a shame too, because if this had wireless, it probably would have at least beat Nintendo in one area. <laughs> now this console boasts motion controls, however, it doesn't actually have that. It just knows when you shake the remote, it can't tell what you're doing with it. It effectively just replaces you hitting the A button is all. Also too, anybody who has an entertainment setup like this belongs on a list. Now opening up the box, we get to see the Zone 60 in all its glory. And apparently somebody replaced my metallic version with a plastic one. I am seeing nothing metallic anywhere on this. The remote feels like you'd expect, light and cheap with the buttons all tacky. It feels like you're going to break it at any second. It also comes with add-ons to make the game more immersive. Just playing a game? Now you're playing golf. Also included is the world's worst AV cable. Yes, I love playing a game where I only get to hear one side of audio. But I guess we should talk about the thing anybody really cares about. The games. Now booting up the console, we're greeted to this Nick Slime puked all over a sorry excuse for a menu. You can tell the games they really cared about because they're featured here on the front, where everything else is just in the mini games section. So let's start off with some boxing. So remember how in Wii Sports boxing was fun and you actually knew what you were doing? Not here, you just shake the remote up and down. Unboxing. I think you're supposed to have both remotes for this game, but I honestly was too lazy to unscrew the back and put batteries in both of them, so I stuck with one, but hey, I won. You win. I love how this announcer sounds more bored than you are with this game. One, two, three, four. He's watching two guys punch each other in the face, and he just can't find the energy to care at all. Is that a Wiimote? Fishing! So we have the choice of water, water, and water. And this is just way too many options. Nothing I choose here is actually going to affect the way the game plays. Ah, the great outdoors. So apparently in this game, fish have a bomb in them that are about to blow up unless you shake a remote fast enough. I honestly don't get it. And just look at this fish. I've never seen one that's given up on life more than this one. Just look at its dead, pixelated eyes. And also, can we go back and watch that fish literally ascend to heaven? Ping pong! Okay, okay, let's unpack this together. Who is the idiot who let people bring balloons into this vent? What does that banner say? Table take? Is that barrier falling on the crowd? What is going on here? I don't understand any of this. As for the gameplay, it's what you'd expect. Let's move on to golf. Apparently this game has a story mode. A story mode. So yeah, as it turns out, story mode just means pick whatever island you want to golf on, idiot. That's, that's all it is. As for the game, it's not one of the worst ones on here, but at the same time, that's a really low bar to clear. Well, let's play some bowling then. You know bowling on Wii Sports, how everybody loved it and always wanted to play it? Yeah, this is the anti-Wii Sports bowling. Everybody will hate playing this game, so good job bringing balance to the world, I guess? I like how the song in this game sounds like a theme song to a TV show. So 
circus theme. How is this circus theme? And what the f is that? Is that a dog or a goat? I have no clue what that's supposed to be. But hey, if you're looking for a worse game than bowling, there's always darts. And if you're looking for a worse game that isn't darts, there's always dancing. It looks like Jungle Tech wasn't just happy ripping off the Wii, they also had to go after that Guitar Hero craze that was going on. But my god, look at that little guy go. Well, let's see what's going on in the world of baseball. Ah uh, yes, we have Team Baseball facing off against Team Baseball. And it's a baseball. What about basketball? It's a basketball, and it's awful. And finally, we come to pool. Now you know those crappy pool games that you can download on your phone? If you played that, you've played this game then. It's like a worse version than that. Now that's all the motion control games that are on the system. However, there's still plenty of mini games to go through. There's 49 of them, so we're gonna have to kind of do this fast to get through all. So let's start with auto racing. It's a racing game and is is that a dancing crab? Well, I guess you know what that means. I don't know what it is about me playing these bootleg games that always have dancing crabs in them, but apparently this is just a thing now. Up next, Ball Battle. Um, okay. Big Burger. Now, this game's not very good, however, I actually kind of like the soundtrack in this game. Maybe it's just me, but if this was done better, I feel like this soundtrack could actually be really good. Braveheart. Like, the movie? Is this a movie tie-in game? Nope, it's just a rip-off of Mario Bros. Ball Blaster. It's Azuma. Caddy. No. Coin Digger. No. Cooking Chaos. What exactly are these birds hoping to achieve? Crazy Coconuts. You play as an Arthur reject chucking coconuts at Alvin and the Chipmunks? Deep Storm. It's a crappy shooter. Dragon. Sounds fun, but it's not. Egg Collection. What else did you expect? Find the Way. I just want to find the way away from this game. Finger Dancing. No. Firefighter. Now, I'm no expert, but I don't think this is the best way to put out fires. Fruit fall. Yeah, fruit's falling. Go-karts. It's even worse than Auto Racer, and that's not even a freaking kart. Hero Legend. You play as Link smashing the California Raisins? Hot Dip. Now, I have no clue what's going on in this game, but I can almost guarantee you plenty of drugs were used while making it. Ice Climber. This is just freaking Ice Climbers. Jewel Fever 2. I hope I don't have to play the first one to know what's going on, but looks like Pirate Mario here isn't having any fun with the game either. Jewel Master 2. Pass. Ladybug. Yep, that's the Ladybug. Lightning Plan. Now, this is probably the best game on the system, but that's not saying much. It's just an alright shooter. Magic Cubes. It's a Tetris. Match it up. It's a memory match. And is that kidneys? Mission. It's awful. Motor Rally 2. It's just Auto Racer. It's even the same map. Mr. Onion. So let's see here. We got a bootleg Pac-Man with a female Kirby. What else were you expecting? A Pac-Man game? No, this is Mr. Onion. Mystic Totem. Have fun stacking rings. Plumber Man. No. Pop Ball. That's freaking Ness! Potion Commotion. No thank you. Rapid Stream. Now I have no clue what's going on here, I could not figure out the controls, I just kept dying, so next game. Slot Machine. Ah yes, nothing says family fun like a slot machine. Sudoku. It's a Sudoku. Speedrunner. No. Spiral Bobble. Oh my god this game makes me want to puke. Squirrel Bobble. Pass. Starry Night. Wait, that's Flounder from The Little Mermaid! How did they think they could get away with this? This game was sold on store shelves! Also, where is the Starry Night? Surf Adventure. No. Texas Hold'em. It's a poker. The Lost World. It can stay lost. Tiger Rescue. There's no freaking tigers anywhere! Jet Skiing. 
It's just a jet skin game, but why is this game out of alphabetical order? Every other game is in alphabetical order except this one, Toy Kingdom. I have no clue what's going on here. Treasure Hunt. It's not really a hunt, there's treasure everywhere. Yummy. Yeah, this game is horrible. Now, some of you might have noticed I did skip over a game. I didn't forget about it, I just wanted to save the best for last, so let's take a look at Hey Bell. No, your eyes do not deceive you, that is Donald Duck and Goofy with humanoid heads. Just why? Why did this happen? They obviously had no problem ripping off Ness or Flounder. They didn't care about copyright infringement. So why did they start caring now? Why swap out Donald and Goofy's head? Just leave them the same. Don't make this abomination. But honestly, this right here, this image, sums up perfectly what this game console is. But don't worry, see I actually learned to hack how to make this console better. You take the console, take a hammer, and 